true story of the three little pigs. Oh, by a wolf. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Cool story. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs, or at least they think they do. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Nobody knows the real story. Because nobody has ever heard of my side of the story. Wolf, wolf. I'm the wolf. Alexander T. Wolf. You can call me Al. That's Big Al. Yeah, that's me right there. Look at me, looking at you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because I'm cool like that. I'm a big wolf, wolf. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault that wolves eat cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. That's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you were a big, bad wolf, too. Yeah, crunch and munch. Mm-hmm. I think you and I are a lot alike, more alike than you want to admit. Mm-hmm. Nice big cheeseburger. Wolfy, wolfy. Crunchy, crunchy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see my little fur? Sneeze plus sugar. But like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about sneeze and a cup of sugar. Mm-hmm. A, sneeze, plus B, sugar. This is the real story. Mm-hmm. Way back in Once Upon a Time, I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny. I had a terrible sneeze and cold. I ran out of sugar. Mm, because a cake needs sugar, 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 sugar to make the most delightful yellow cake. Mm hmm. Because once upon a time, everyone likes cakes. Yeah. Mm hmm. See? Uh huh. Little rabbit ears, I think. Because <laughs> I'm a big bad wolf. Look at me. Look at my eyeballs. Aren't they cute? So I went next door to ask if I could buy a cup of sugar. Now the guy next door was a pig. Oink, oink. But he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straws. Like, you know, straw? I mean, come on, seriously. Can you believe it? I mean, who in his right mind would build a house of straw? Like, I mean, a wind would come by. And whoosh, whoosh. You know, do you know how many hurricanes and tornadoes and windy, windy winds we have? So, of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell right in. I mean, that's not my fault. I didn't want to just talk into someone else's door. So I called, little pig, little pig no answer so i just go about go home without the cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake i mean you know that's when my nose started to itch yeah it started to itch i felt a sneeze coming on well i huffed and i huffed and i popped and i sneezed and i i sneezed a great big sneeze like Achoo! you know kind of like that you know sneezy sneezy sneeze like right now if you sneeze right now oh my you wouldn't hear the end of it. And you know what? That whole darn straw house fell down. And right in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig, dead as a doornail. He'd been home the whole time. It seems like a shame to leave a perfectly good ham lying. And the straw, so hated it up. Think of it as a cheeseburger, right? A cheeseburger. I mean, come on. Would I just leave the little pig there? I was feeling a little better, but I still didn't have my cup of sugar, so I went to the next house, you know? The guy who lived there was the first pig's brother. He was a little smarter, but not as much. He'd build his house of sticks. I mean, you know, sticks, 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 you know, it's a good effort. I mean, I didn't mean to, like, knock his first brother's house down, but, you know, I rang the bell on the stick house, you know, stick house. Nobody answered. I called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? He yelled back, go Wolf, you can't come in. I'm shaving. I mean, you know, I didn't know he was shaving. I had just grabbed the doorknob and then I felt another sneeze coming on and I hopped and I sneezed and I tried to cover my mouth but I just sneezed a great sneeze. I was like, ah, chew. And you're not going to believe it. But this guy's house fell down just like his brother's. I mean, when the dust clears, there was a second little pig dead as a doornail. Wolf's honor. I mean, you know, I I mean, it's 
So now, you know food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open, right? So I did the only thing there was to do. I had dinner again. I mean, think of it like a second helping. I mean, everyone loves second helpings. I was getting awfully full, but my cold was feeling a little bit better. I still didn't have that cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. So I went to the next house and this guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have been the prince of the family because he built his house out of bricks. I mean, nice, nice. I mean, he really splurged. I mean, look at that brick house. I mean, come on, fancy, schmancy. I mean, great mortar job there, pal. I knocked on the brick house and there was no answer. So I called, hey, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? Piggy, 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 piggy. And do you know what that rude little porkster answer? Get out of here, Mr. Big Bad Wolf. I mean, come on, how rude is that? Talk about impolite. I mean, gosh, he probably had a whole stack full of sugar. I mean, he wouldn't even give me one little cup. My dear sweet old granny's birthday cake. I mean, what a pig. I mean, I was just about to go home and maybe make a nice birthday card instead of a cake when I felt my cold coming out. And I was like, uh, uh, I huffed and I snuffled and I, I, I huffed and I puffed and I sneezed once again. And then the third little pig yelled out, go away. And I went, ah, chew. Now, I'm usually a pretty calm fellow, you know what I mean? And when somebody talks that about my granny like that, I go a little crazy. I mean, can you imagine when the cops drove up? Of course, I was trying to break down the pig's door, and the whole time I was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real scene, and the cops were like, woo, 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 it's all your fault, you know, knocking on the pig's door, and I was like, I just wanted a cup of sugar for granny's cake, and, you know, and the rest is as they say is history. I mean, I'm the bad guy. And the news reporters found out that the two pigs I had for dinner, they got figured a six guy was going to borrow a cup of sugar didn't sound very exciting. So, you know, I mean, and the news reporters found out. So they jazzed up the story all about that huff and puff and blow your nose down. They made me into the big bad wolf. I mean, you know, I really got a bad rap. So that's it. That's the real story. I got framed. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Subscribe. Subscribe, the end.